Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with the chapter 2, Capacitor and Dielectric. So for this video, we will discuss on 2.3 capacitance with dielectric. Number 7, so in our previous uh, summary, we already learned the capacitance where capacitance C is equal to epsilon R, epsilon naught A over D. So if let's say it's in the air or vacuum, epsilon R value is equal to 1. Okay, if let's say we insert and dielectric, Okay, epsilon r will greater than 1. Okay, so meaning that when you insert the dielectric, the capacitance will increase, huh? meaning that the storage of the capacitor is increased and you can store more charge. Okay, okay. So, example 7 a pair of plate capacitor has a plate of the area 280 cm squared are separated by the distance of 0.55 mm and the plates are in vacuum. So, again, when it's in vacuum, epsilon r here will equal to 1. If the potential difference is 20.1 volt is applied to the capacitor, determine the capacitance of the capacitor. So we want to find what is the value for C. Okay. So here they give you the area, they give you the distance and uh, the value for V. So we can use the equation C equals to epsilon R epsilon naught A over D. Okay. So epsilon R is the value where is equal to 1 because it's in the vacuum. So it's equal to 1. Okay, epsilon naught is a constant value and the value is equal to 8.85 exponent negative 12. A is the area. So area is still in cm. So we need to convert that. 280 cm square will convert into meter square over the distance is 0 0.55 millimeter. Okay, so millimeter we need to convert it into meter. Therefore, the capacitance of the capacitor value will equal to 4.51 exponent negative 10 farad. Okay, so this is the value for the capacitor. Okay, next we want to find the amount of charge that can store in each plate. Okay, so since we have the value for C and we have the value for V, so Q equals to CV, where we substitute C is 4.51 exponent negative 10, V is 20.1 volt. So the amount of charge stored in the capacitor is equal to 9.07 exponent negative 9 coulomb. Okay. Okay, next C. Find the electric field strength was produced. Okay. So electric field strength, we want to find E. E for a pair of plate. Okay, E for a pair of plate. Equation is equal to delta V over D. Okay, where V is the potential difference 20.1, D is the distance between the, uh, the separation of the two plates, so it is equal to 0.55 millimeter. Okay, so after pressing calculator, we'll find that the value for the electric field strength is equal to 3.66 exponent for volt per meter. Okay, so this is the example 7. Okay, next we'll continue with example 8. A circular pair of plate capacitor with a radius of 1.2 cm is connected with 6 volt battery. After the capacitor is fully charged, the battery is disconnected. Okay, so when disconnected, meaning that there is no more battery, eh? Q is constant. Okay, meaning that there is no more charge will flow in or out into the capacitor without loss of any charge on the plate. If the separation between the plate is 2.5 mm and the middle of between the plate is air. Okay, so here they give you the radius, they give you the potential, and then they give you the separations between the plates. Okay, and epsilon r is equal to one because it's a. Okay, now calculate the initial amount of charge on each plate. So initial amount of charge that can store inside the plate is actually when it is fully charged. Okay, when charging process happen. Okay, so after it's fully charged, then the battery only disconnected. So we need to find what is the amount of the initial amount of the charge on each plate. So we can use q naught equals to c times v naught. Okay, where C is the capacitor, and uh, because we don't have, so we can use C equals to epsilon R, epsilon naught, A over D to find the capacitance first. Where epsilon R is equal to 1, epsilon naught is equal to 8.85 exponent negative 12, and the area is given a radius. Okay, so we can use pi R square, uh, 1.2 negative 2 square, okay, over the distance. Between the plates is 2.5 millimeter, so we convert it to meter. Okay, so after pressing calculator, we will get C is equal to 1.6 exponent negative 12 farad. Okay, then we substitute into the equations to find the initial amount of charge. The C is 1.6 exponent negative 12, V is equal to 6. So the final answer for the initial charge that's stored inside the capacitor is equal to 9.6 exponent negative 12 coulomb. 
Okay, so this is the charge that's stored initially when it's fully charged, right? the maximum charge right, that can store inside the capacitor. Okay, so when it's fully charged, uh, the battery already disconnected. Okay, if the separation increase to 8 mm after the battery is disconnected, okay, so determine the final amount of charge okay, on each plate. So when the battery is disconnected, Q is constant. Okay, so meaning that the Q that's stored inside the capacitor is 9.6 exponent negative 12 coulomb. And because of the separation is increased, uh, D increase, okay, therefore our C equals to epsilon R, epsilon not A over D, C will reduce. Okay, so now we want to calculate what is the final amount of charge on each plate. Okay, so as I mentioned, because the keywords here is the battery is already disconnected, therefore our Q is constant. So the Q is equal to 9.6 exponent negative 12 coulomb. Okay, next, find the potential difference between the plates. So we want to find what is the value where Q equals to CV. Okay, Q is 9.6 exponent negative 12. C is the value uh, because C we need to find the new uh, value because the separation already changed okay then, then only we can find the potential difference between the plates okay so C prime uh, the new C is equal to epsilon R epsilon not A over D where epsilon R is 1 epsilon not is 8.85 exponent negative 12 area is equal to uh, pi, pi R square uh, 1.2 exponent negative 2 square over the distance okay uh, initially is 2.5 millimeter now already convert increase to 8 millimeter so we substitute 8 millimeter therefore the new capacitance is equal to 5 times exponent negative 3 farad okay so we substitute here v will equal to 9.6 exponent negative 12 over 5 exponent negative 3 okay so it's 9.6 exponent negative 12 over 5 exponent negative 3 so we will get okay so the new capacitance is equal to 5 exponent negative 13 farad okay so we substitute into the equation v will equal to 9.6 exponent negative 12 over 5 exponent negative 13 okay therefore we will get 19.2 volt okay okay next one is find the capacitance of a capacitor okay so actually the capacitance of the capacitor is question number C okay so we already found just now C is equal to epsilon R epsilon not A over D where we will straight away get 5 exponent negative 13 farad okay so this is actually already found just now when we want to solve the question for C okay next we will go to example 9 example 9 a vacuum or paraplate capacitor has a plate of area 150 cm square and the separation is 2 mm. The capacitor is charged to a potential difference of 2000 volt. Then the battery is disconnected. So again, when the question says the battery is disconnected, okay, it's disconnected, meaning that Q is constant. After it already fully charged, battery already taken out. And the dielectric insert of the same area A is placed between the plate as shown in the figure. Okay, here this question is there is an dielectric inside the plate. Okay, in the presence of the dielectric, the potential difference across the plates will reduce to 500 volt. Okay, meaning that initially when it's already fully charged, initially V is C is equal to V not where it's equal to 2000 volt. Okay, but when we insert and dielectric, when insert and dielectric. When insert and dielectric into the plate, what happens is our E electric field strength will reduce. So when electric field strength reduce, our E equals to V over D. This is constant. When E reduce, V also will reduce. So it will drop. Okay, it will drop to V C that, that moment equals to 500 volt only. Okay. Okay, now let us look at the initial capacitance of the capacitor. So since here we already have the area, the uh, the plate separations, okay, so we can substitute in initially before uh, insert the dielectric so our c is equal to epsilon r epsilon not a over d where initially there's no dielectric so our epsilon r is 1 epsilon not is 8.85 exponent negative 12 and the area is 150 cm square okay so i will convert it into meter square over the separation 2 millimeters so 2 exponent negative 3 therefore the initial capacitance is equal to 6.63 exponent negative 11 farad Okay, next, the charge on each plate before the dielectric insert. Okay, so meaning that when it already fully charged, when it is fully charged. Okay, before 
insert the dielectric. So when it's fully charged, Q is equal to CV. Where C is 6.63, exponent negative 11. And V initially before insert the dielectric is 2000. Okay, so we can find that the charge on each plate is equal to 1.33 exponent negative 7 coulomb. Okay, so this is where it already fully charged uh, before insert and the electric. Okay, next, the capacitance after the dielectric is in place. So when we insert the uh, dielectric into the plate, what happens is our value for the C okay, will um, reduce, will increase. Okay, so now Q equals to CV. Q because the battery already disconnected. So Q still remain the same, 1.33 exponent negative 7. Okay, because Q is constant. And C is the value that we want to find. And V, after we insert the electric, V becomes 500 volt. So the new capacitance after insert the dielectric is equal to 2.66 exponent negative 10 farad. Okay, next D, we want to find the relative permittivity where the value for epsilon naught is equal to C over C naught. Or we can use V naught over V to find. Okay, so either one, if let's say we use the first one, C over C naught, therefore our value of C initially is Okay, so it's equal to 2.66 exponent negative 10. C not initially is 6.63. Eh? 6.63 exponent negative 11. So epsilon not we will get 4.01. Okay, if let's say you want to use the second equations, actually we will also get the same answer where initially V not is 2000 and final V is equal to 500 when insert the dielectric. So we also get 4. Okay, so you can use either one. Okay, next we want to find the permittivity of the dielectric material. So the permittivity of the dielectric is equal to epsilon r epsilon naught. Where epsilon r is equal to 4 and epsilon naught is the constant value 8.85 exponent negative 12. Okay, therefore we will get the value 3.55 exponent negative 11 coulomb square per newton per meter square. Okay, number F, find the initial electric field. So, initial electric field, we want to find E. Eh? Okay, E equals to delta V over D. So, because the question said initial, meaning that we need to use V initial is 2000. And the plate separation here is given uh, 2 millimeter. Okay, so we substitute 2 millimeter. Therefore, the initial electric field is equal to 1 exponent 6 volt per meter. Okay, next find the electric field after the dielectric electric is inserted. Okay, of course, when we know that when we insert the dielectric, electric, okay, the value for E, it will drop. Okay, it will drop because the molecule inside the dielectric electric, it will orient it, okay, and then it will cancel off the electric field strength. Okay, so the electric field after insert the dielectric, electric, it will definitely, it will drop. Okay, so we need to find what is the value. Okay, so for the equation of epsilon R, E is equal to E naught over E, where E naught is equal to Okay, so we substitute in 4 equals to epsilon <coughs> 4 is equal to E naught 1 exponent 6 over E Okay, so we want to find what is the value for E after insert the dielectric Okay, so after calculating, we will get 2.49 exponent 5 volt per meter Okay, so if we don't want to use these equations to find, we also can use E equals to VD Where if you want to find after insert the dielectric, so you must substitute V final where V final is 500 and D final and the separation between the plate is 2 milli okay so we will get 2.5 exponent 5 volt per meter okay so that's all for this uh, subtopic okay see you on next chapter we will start with chapter 3 see you bye